Hello, Chuck Green here again for another Under the Hood. This week, we're talking about the Quad Series. So today I've got an assortment of products all using the quad color LED. I've got the new Vio series, which is the Vio Scan, Vio Moon, and Vio Roll. I've got the new Quad Phase, the new Jelly Dome, and then I've got the Decker. All of these fixtures, well, they're all different. They all use the quad color diode. What is a quad color diode? If you take a good close look, you'll see it's an SMD, which stands for surface mount diode, and you've got red, blue, green, and white. So you can get a whole assortment of colors out of this tiny little diode. Well, before I start ripping one of these things open, let's talk about some of the features that makes each one of these lights unique. We'll start with the Vio series, since it's the newest. First, we're gonna start with the Vio Scan and the Vio Roll. They're pretty similar fixtures. The big difference is, is the Vio Roll has a barrel mirror on it. They both have 1.8 degree stepper motors. They both have uh, two DMX modes, one being one channel and the other being five channel. Uh, they have digital display on the bottom side with a four button menu. They are UC3 capable. You have IEC in and out and you have a safety loop for your safety cable. The Vio Scan and the Vio Roll both feature the 10 watt quad color LED. You can make all different kinds of color combinations with this RGBW setup. It has built in programs and of course you can run it DMX or sound active or master slave. When running a DMX, you've got dimming from 0 to 100, strobe effects, and all different kinds of exciting movements. The Vile Moon LED features the same four color SMD diode that the roller and the scan both have, but it doesn't have a mirror in front. It's a high powered four color moonflower effect. The Vile Moon features DMX, sound active, and master slave. It also has the same display that its brothers have, and it has the four button menu. Here we have the Decker LED. The Decker LED actually features two 5 watt quad color SMD diodes. You can run it in several DMX modes, including 2 channel or 8 channel. Of course, you can run it in sound active, master slave, DMX, and then there's a manual mode. It also has IEC in and out, obviously DMX in and out. It's got your UC3 input, and it's got a mic with a sensitivity knob for sound active. The Decker has 40 lenses on the front, which means you're gonna get a lot of beams covering the dance floor. On the heels of another popular product, the Jellyfish, we decided to jellyfy another product. Now we've got the Jelly Dome. The Jelly Dome features the 10 watt quad color RGBW SMD diode. It has a beam angle of 138 degrees, so you can pretty much cover a whole room, whether you set this thing on the floor, or you set it on the ceiling, or on top of your speakers, or whatever. It's obviously sound active, master slave, but it's also DMX. You got three channels. You got your shutter, your dimmer, strobe on one channel, you got your color, and then you've got your rotation, clockwise or counterclockwise. The Jelly Dome also has a UC3 input for you UC3 DJs out there. And uh, it's just a great all-around mobile fixture. And lastly, we've got the Quad Phase. The Quad Phase is pretty much an updated version of the extremely popular Tri Phase. The Quad Phase also features an RGBW SMD quad color diode. On the Quad Phase, you got four DMX channels. You got color, rotation, strobe, and dimmer. And of course, you can run a master slave, sound active. And again, for you UC3 guys out there, it's got a UC3 input. It also features IEC in and out, so you can link the power to other Quad Phases. And then of course, safety first, We've got your safety loop on here. The quad phase has eight lenses, producing about 40 beams of light, so it's sure to cover a good size area. Okay, so let's rip apart a couple of these fixtures. Well, now we got the top off. You can see it's set up like a, for those of you who are familiar with the original Moonflower effects like the crystal and the, the jewel, it's set up pretty much the same way, but we've got the uh, quad color LED right here under this lens. It's a condenser lens and it comes out, hits your uh, dish with the mirrors. The dish is attached to this uh, 1.8 degree stepper motor and uh, pops it right out of the front lens. Pretty basic inside, 
You've got your, your uh, main PC board, and then of course your DMX driver board, and your power supply. And uh, this guy again, this is, an, this is a fixture if you uh, travel overseas, you just change the power cord, you're ready to go. Up next, let's rip apart the Decker. Here you can see the brush system which delivers power and, and uh, DMX data to our two 5 watt quad color diodes. If you look here, here's all the brush contacts, that's for DMX data and power to the diodes. If you follow it inside here, you've got the main PC board, you've got the, the display board, and then you've got the little DMX board. Again, everything's neatly harnessed. So for whatever reason, if it needs to get serviced, we get it in and out and back to you so you can get gigging again. This too also has our 1.8 degree stepper motor. So on the back of this, you've got the power supply. Going to the main PC board here, we've got, um, you see all the little wiring harnesses? Woo! And here's your DMX in and out, your display board. And then, yeah, your main PC board, it's got some EPROMs and all that fun stuff on there. You know, well, the fun part's totally screwing these things up and voiding the warranty, again, so you don't have to, but another fun part is plugging one of these things in when it's all taken apart, which is extremely dangerous, is which is why they pay me to do it. Hang on one sec. Whoa! Hey, see? So anyhow, folks, Decker LED, look for it. It's your local American DJ dealer. Hopefully theirs will be in better shape than this one. <laughs> you want me to take apart one more thing? All right. Let's do the, let's, let's try the Jelly Dome. I have to be careful because this is a prototype and it really needs to get put back together unlike, uh, well, Decker here. So uh, let me see. Okay, now we've got the top off of this thing, and let me tell you, looking directly into one of these 10 watt diodes, man, they are bright. These little suckers. Look at that. So anyhow, you can see here. We've got our 10 watt chip. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little rotating platter here. Put my little bottle of water on there, maybe you can get a better idea. Whoa. Yeah. So anyhow, if you just put the dome back on top. Now the dome's not screwed on really, but you can kind of see where the effect comes from. Also, kind of got the bottom taken off here. It's a little cramped. All right, over here, underneath this uh, plate, you've got the stepper motor, and you can see it driving the belt that goes to the platter that the dome is attached to. On the side here, where the, you've got your uh, DMX driver board, and it's got the dip switches, so you can address the DMX channel. Come over here got one of those power supplies and this is an international power supply too so you can, uh, can use this around the world. Got your breaker, DMX in and out and uh, yeah I mean that's pretty much the inner workings of the Jelly Dome. Alright, looks like I've got my work cut out for me. Um, got to try and get this stuff back together so I can go out and enjoy my weekend. Uh, anyhow, be sure to leave some comments down there. Thanks for checking us out. Oh and check us out on Facebook. Uh, American DJ under the hood. Uh, I'm Chuck Green. Catch you next time.